a year has passed and I've begun working on Kaba some more. So it looks basically the same as before, except now there's movement, collisions, gravity. Um, you can press F to fly. And yeah, the map is basically the same, but some differences are now you can break and place blocks. Uh, you can only place these these white untextured blocks right now, but that's helpful because there's also some ambient occlusion, which is pretty, fan uh, uh, pretty fancy. And so now the the world no, no, no longer looks like, I don't know, not as flat, I guess. Like you can see these pockets of darkness um, up here. Now, you know, it's kind of surprising how it works. Like this looks wrong, but this is how Minecraft does it too. And I'm just replicating how Minecraft does it. So it basically just counts for every corner of the space. It counts uh, these three corners. And the amount of blocks determines how dark the corner is. So this has two neighbors, I guess. So it's like level two darkness. This one only has one neighbor. And if you, if you only have, even diagonals have the same darkness. It just only affects one corner. Um... And yeah, if you have three neighbors, it's the darkest. And so if you have an enclosed uh, box like this, it's pretty dark. And honestly, this looks weird. But again, Minecraft does this, and Minecraft looks fine. So this should look fine too. Um, and so, so something curious about Minecraft, or just several curious things about Minecraft. So, oops. Yeah, you can place blocks inside yourself, and that like prevents you from moving. But so one thing is that if you place a block, it has this like ambient occlusion thing around it, right? It's not symmetrical in Minecraft, so it's been a bug for a while. Ambient occlusion is hexagonal. I think that's the issue. Uh, no, this is the duplicate. But it's been a thing since. Oh, well, it's been a thing since forever, but. Apparently no one noticed until 1.13. Um, and it has to do with the how we turn the squares into triangles. So you can see like the outlines of the, the two triangles for every square. Whatever, maybe it is an easy fix, but if again, if Minecraft does it, then I don't care. Um, and another thing that I, it, my thing doesn't do it, but let me pull up two screenshots I got from Minecraft. So apparently in Minecraft, I think the east and west faces are darker, so again, my game doesn't do that. But here, th that's like the east faces, and if you compare it to the north and south faces, they're always brighter. So this is the other way around. You have the north faces here that are brighter than the east and west faces. Um, I don't know, it's interesting. But yeah, so now you can, you can do some parkour, you can place blocks. Um, I think... The hardest parts of making the voxel engine, I think, were just getting ray casting working. And so for that, I just stole, I stole the code for it uh, from from someone else. Um, hopefully they don't, don't mind. Oh, they don't have a license. Oh, that's not good. Okay, maybe I should change the algorithm. But uh, n that's how you can you're able to break and place blocks. And the other hard difficult thing was getting the ambient occlusion working. Because I think that's like an essential part of making any voxel engine look not terrible. Um, after that, it should be fairly smooth sailing. I could just add world gen um, and whatever else I want. And hopefully, I don't know, turn this into something more than just a mess of cubes and glass. Okay.